Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, we are talking about five easy ways to improve your mental health, five simple things that you can start doing as soon as today to start improving your mental health. The first of which is live in the present. So, um, two of the greatest sources of um, stress that most people face are the past and the future. Worrying about things that already happened that you no longer have control over or worrying about things that could possibly maybe happen tomorrow, but you really don't know that for, for sure. But while you're doing that, it's depriving you of the opportunity of, to experience today, of the opportunity to live today, to see and be and enjoy what today has to offer and make the changes that you can make today and do accomplish the things that you could accomplish today. So focus on living today as opposed to focusing on uh, um, being consumed by whatever happened yesterday that you no longer that you can no longer change or things that could possibly maybe happen tomorrow. Focus on today. And when you are focusing on enjoying and living today that you're so cons that you don't have time enough time left or energy left to be consumed by, you know, future or the past. And of course, make sure that you are present. Don't just show up. Be there. When you are there, be there. Don't be physically in one look, physically in the present, but focusing on other things, you know, doing social media, being, um, if you're there, be there and be present. Two, take some me time every day. Whether you're using that time for prayer, for meditation, for self-reflection, just take some time to get yourself centered because there is so much going on in the world. Once you step out of the, really once you get out of bed, there you are faced with so many different um, opportunities for distractions, so many different um, stimulation happening all over the place. Take some time and get yourself centered. If you're going to do, maybe you're doing some breathing exercises, maybe you're meditating, maybe you're just sitting there just enjoying a moment of quiet. Take some time to get yourself centered every single day. Three, eliminate the comparisons. Social media does not make that any easier, but it's with everyone posting their 57th awesome shot that they took. But the, part, the issue with comparing yourself to others is that you do not know what is behind what you see. When you look on social media, for example, and you see someone's wonderful picture, you don't get to see the other 357 bad shots that they took before they got to this one great shot that you, that makes everyone that makes a lot of people want to say, "Hey, I want that." And you don't even you don't know what sacrifices that the person has to make to get whatever it is that you're wanting so bad that you're not willing to make. So, in when we compare our lives, when we compare our own situations to that of others, it often makes us feel bad or feel less good about the things that we have going on. We all have such great things going on in our lives, but sometimes we are so busy comparing and looking at what others, what seems like great things in the lives of others that we may forget to appreciate. We may forget to be grateful. We may forget to enjoy the wonderful things that are happening in our own lives. So focus on your own life and don't compare it to other people. Four. Do things to maintain your physical health. There's no greater base, no better base for a great mental health than great physical health. Doing things that means that help maintain your physical health also helps strengthen your mental health. Things like um, exercising, things like eating well, getting enough sleep, all those things have positive, make positive contribution to your mental health. So make sure that you're doing those things that are helping you keep a strong, healthy body that way you have a strong, um, healthy base for great mental health. And finally, own your power. Take time to empower yourself. Because another source of stress that many people face is the lack, it feel, that feeling or that sense of powerlessness, that sense of how do I make it in this or when, the, when, you, feel, when you don't feel in charge. Take time to do things to empower yourself read, get educated on whatever topic is of value to you. If there's something going on in your industry at work, learn, be, make use. When you 
when you empower yourself, you feel stronger, you feel better. And when you feel better, you are in a much better mental space. You have more room for positive thoughts, for positive actions, for positive behaviors. You are not as consumed with um, worries. You're not as consumed with negative thoughts. Empower yourself. Feel that way you feel strong enough to be, you know, to be you. Yeah. Okay, quick recap. One, live in the present and make sure that when you're living in the present, you are present at that time. Two, take some me time every day, whether it's meditating, praying, whatever you're doing with it, get yourself centered. Three, eliminate comparisons between because that image that you are comparing your life to is probably image number 457 out of a, and the, all the others were bad ones. And four, do things to maintain your physical health because there is no better base for great mental health than great physical health. And of course, own your power. Take time to empower yourself because the more empowered you are, the stronger you feel and the, eat, the, more, the better the base you build for great mental health. And as always, if you or someone you know happens to be dealing with something that's more than you can handle, please do take time and get some help because there is a lot of it out there. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.